Hello guys, in this video I'll be covering some of the things you might have missed in update 1.5. You can buy vials of adeptal speed in the furnishing tab from Tubby. Vials of adeptal speed complete recipes regardless of build time, so use them to rush trust rank 4 and 6000 adeptal energy to get more realm currency faster. You want to rush trust rank 4 because it's the closest reasonable rank to unlock extra craft Q slots, and it's the last rank you get free vials of adeptal speed, and you want to get to 6000 adeptal energy because it's the last increase in realm currency that gives you 4 extra coins per hour. If you're trying to raise your adeptal energy as fast as possible, use your realm currency to buy the 5 daily vials of adeptal speed to finish purple recipes since they give 3 times the adeptal energy compared to green furniture or 1.5 times as much compared to blue furniture. Put down all of the furniture items you have even if it looks messy otherwise it won't count towards your adeptal energy levels to get more coins. The traveling teapot merchant that comes every Friday has a shared stock so if one person buys the items it won't be available for others. You may want to keep your teapot world to be joinable only after request unless you don't care if there are no items to buy from your own weekly shop. However, owners of the teapot do get first dibs for 24 hours and visitors can only buy from Chubby on Saturdays and Sundays. So you can decide after Friday if you want to leave your teapot realm open to visitors or not. If you don't care about the items in Chubby's shop because you're saving up for new recipes, which is very important, leave your teapot world open all week because visitors may help you speed up your crafts by talking to Tubby. Speaking of very important recipes, you can get more furniture recipes and set recipes from two NPCs, Master Lu in Chingsa Village and Goth in Mondstadt. Goth can only be found in the daytime though. Crafting dice have multiple options. If you don't have a lot of Sensetias, Berries, or Mints, you can craft them with Carrots, Volberries, Core Lapis, and Wolf Hooks, but who are we kidding, everyone has a lot of Sensetias, Berries, and Mints. In Alchemy, there's a new weekly boss item called the Dream Solvent. It can change one weekly boss drop into another, but it has to be from the same weekly boss. There are also some new recipes. One of them is the Crab Row Tofu from Chef Mao in the Wamen Restaurant. It's not worth crafting though because crab is relatively hard to farm and is needed for high tier recipes like Adeptus Temptation and Golden Crab. Also, tofu can't be farmed, it must be bought. Also, the two famous restaurants but less known for selling recipes have new recipes. Liulea Pavilion has Stone Harbor Delicacies. This is also not worth crafting because potatoes are much more useful in Monster Hash Browns and Matsutake Mushrooms are more valuable in Adeptus Temptations. Sunye Kiosk has Full Moon Egg. If you have Bennett and can make crispy eggs or have sucrose to make the special version of crab, ham, and veggie bake, it's not worth the more to pay for shrimp. There are also a few new books. While you're at Wadman Restaurant, there's a new book nearby. String of Pearls Volume 5 is near this dining car on this table. There are two more books in Leeway, String of Pearls 4 and Record of the Gallant Volume 2 on the floor above the bookstore. And there's one more book in Mondstadt, Hex and Hound Volume 9 in the Favonis Library on the lower floor. Lastly, there's a secret achievement involving the new Cryoboss. You must beat it after it revives three times. That's all for this video, let me know if I miss anything in the comment section down below. If this helped you guys, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Check out my Discord for text guides and a library of other videos from me and other YouTubers that I think are some of the best guides out there. Also, I'm streaming every Friday at 3am to 7am Pacific Standard Time. Feel free to stop by, link to my Twitch channel is down in the description. Thank you all for watching, and remember, I will always love you.